hey guys, here are my five big trends for the 2017 exams. I spent a lot of time recently looking through exam papers, thinking about what's going to come up in this year's paper, and I have put together my five big trends for the 2017 exam series. Now, you guys know this is the last year that you are going to sit this specification for science, and you know already that the grade boundaries are going to be higher than ever. Ever. The examiners are really, really testing you to see if you deserve those A's and those A stars. So, because of this, what we can expect is for the examiners to go slightly off spec. I'm not talking about completely, completely random things that would just be like crazy for them to examine you on, but just taking the specification and just stretching it a little bit further. So I'm talking about all that extension work that your teacher got you to do. The kind of like the the borderline A level stuff. Now this isn't going to be throughout the whole paper. It's not going to be like question 1A. This is going to be like right at the end of the paper. The very very last question is going to be is going to be basically A level standard. And as a teacher, you can kind of like, oh yeah, okay, I can see where that fits into the specification, but they never explicitly told us that they had to know it in that much detail. So you can expect the last question to be slightly off spec and to be really, really hard. Something that is going to be throughout all of the papers are experiments. Now this is because of the change in specification, because the new specifications coming in are really, really experiments based. I think, just based on what I've been looking at, that they brought this in a little bit early. So we can expect experiments all over the place. So you need to think about the ones you've done in class, you need to think about your ISA skills, we need to be thinking um, about graphs and numerous results, what to do with our variables. Um, controls, um, looking at experiments, reading off graphs, reading off pieces of equipment, anything to do with the experiments I think is going to be really, really big. When the specification started out there was lots of short questions and then one big six mark question. There's been a definite trend in recent years towards longer and longer questions. So what we can expect is your one big six mark question, your quality of written communication question, and then maybe some five mark questions, maybe two five mark questions as well as the six mark question. So we can expect long questions, more writing for you to do. Now six mark questions may seem scary, they may seem intimidating, but if you just look at your command words, break everything down into paragraphs, have a think about what the examiners might be looking for, how they're going to be breaking up the marks, they're actually not too bad at all. It's just, just think of it as lots of short questions put together into one big long question. But we can expect, expect to see large sections for you to write in and large questions for you to interpret, which I know can seem a bit scary and intimidating but don't worry about them too much at all make sure your pencil case is stocked with highlighters and make sure you're going through and highlighting the relevant bits of information in the question now one of the ways they've made questions a tiny bit harder is by introducing multi-step questions where in part e you might have to take something that was in part a and then use that. Whereas previously they've given you all the information, then asked you a question. Here you might have to look back a few kind of like to part A to part B to be able to work out what you need to do for part D or part E. So just because all the information that you need doesn't appear to be present straight away, just have a think about it see if it came up anywhere previously in the exam question. This is um, not only testing your like science skills, but testing your logic skills as well. Um, and this, this is a high level skill. This is hard to not just have your recall and your application, but to actually be thinking outside the box and applying logic to it as well. So this is where we're going to be like reaching for our A's, our, our A stars, with the application of logic and multi-step questions. And then the last thing that I think is going to be big in this year's paper is the social and ethical side of things. 
So we're talking about like alternative fuels, we're talking about renewable energies, um, things that we as humans can do to make um, lives, to make the planet a better place. And um, again, this is because this is really, really big in the new specification, and I think this is kind of like leaking backwards into this specification as well. So, things that I think are going to be big in this year's paper are really, really hard questions at the end, like borderline A level questions going slightly off specification, lots of experiments in there, longer questions, so like five, six mark questions. Uh, multi-step questions where you have to apply logic and then social and ethical things as well guys. Um, good luck in this year's exams, I am working as hard as I can to get as much stuff up for you before um, the exam starts and um, good luck.